Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to do a tutorial for this baby blanket pattern that I just finished. Uh, I'm going to call it a ribbed v-stitch made with Bernat baby velvet. So soft, so luxurious. I absolutely love it and I love using ribbed stitches with velvet. Um, I just kind of modified it a little bit and, and put it in a V-stitch format, so maybe it's a little bit beginner-friendly and pretty easy to do. No border. I just thought it completed itself on its own. The sides looked really good. The bottom looked good and finished it at the top, and it was good to go. So I'm complete with it. I made it 32 inches by 32, but I'm going to give you the pattern repeat and you can just make this any size that you would like. I did use two full skeins of this Bernat Baby Velvet. This is the one. It has uh, 492 yards in each skein. So I used two full ones plus a little bit of a third one. I've got this much left over of a third one. So buy three just to make sure you have enough for a 32 by 32. If you want to make it larger, of course, get more yarn. I'm using an H, which is the recommended hook size, five millimeter. I'm trying to crochet really tight. So if you crochet fairly loosely with an H, I'm going to suggest you do the G. Uh, I want you to keep your stitches tight. That's the trick with working with velvet. It's great to use post stitches and it's great to keep them your stitching pretty tight so that these loops don't pop free. Other than that, it's, oh, I love it. Love, love, love. Okay, well, let's get started. This pattern calls for any even number as the base chain. So I'm doing a little sample swatch with 20 chains. So if you want to make this any size, just chain to the length that you need and make sure it's an even number. For the 32 by 32, my base chain was 120. So let's begin in the fourth chain from the hook and work two double crochets. Now let's skip the next chain and work into the next one with two double crochets. That will be what we need to do across the entire row. Skip one chain, two double crochets into the next chain. When you have two chains left, you're going to skip one and work one double crochet at, into the last chain. Now chain two and turn. Now the first row of pattern, we're going to be working front posts and back posts. 
So this chain two counts as the first double crochet of the row. We're going to work into the second double crochet underneath the post. Pop that post forward and work a double crochet and pop the post forward on the next one as well. So each set of double crochets will be worked in the uh, same direction. So in the next set of double crochets, now we'll insert our hook from the back around that post back to the back, pop that post to the back, work double crochet. So this is the back post double crochet. Okay, come around the next set, make those go forward, front post double crochet, and make the next set back post. Okay, I just finished the last set of double crochets and every row you want to end with one double crochet around the turning chains. In this case, it's around those starting chains that we skipped. And then chain two and turn our work. Okay, now this row is the V-stitch. So first double crochet, the chain two counts as the first one. Skip over that first, the second double crochet in between those pairs. Work two double crochets. We're splitting them apart, making them kind of look like a V. Or this one looks like a V, either one. <laughs> but it's just a pair of double crochets. So this row can go a little bit faster. And I'm going to end the row with one double crochet around the turning chains. Always, always, don't forget that. Every row begins with the two double, the two chains, ends with a double crochet. Okay, now the pattern repeats. Let's start with front post double crochet. and back post, double crochet. So you would just always want the post stitches to be popping out in the same direction as the previous rows. 
So after we work this row of the ribbing, then you go back and you just work another row of the V-stitch. And that's it. You are, you're good to go. This is a wonderful, relaxing, easy pattern that I just think gives such beautiful results. Let's look at the blanket again. So I just thought it was so beautiful. I didn't even want to add a border to it. It turned out just perfectly. Um, and I love how the, the ribbing kind of actually turned out looking like little braids too. Just subtle little braids. So that's, that's it. I love it. I love a good easy pattern for the new year. Um, I hope you enjoy it too. Come and show us in the Daisy Farm Crafters group if you'd like. It's We're on Facebook or just come follow us on Instagram and you can tag us in our uh, tag us uh, tag at Daisy Farm Craft on your public post and we'd love to see. All right. Have a good one. Thank you.